Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Ah, you're talking about this scarf right here, eh? Yes, that's it! The scarf the policewoman was wearing! I've got her now, just don't mess up. But that's strange. In your testimony, you start stated the following. I guess I'm lucky I wasn't wearing a white scarf. Well, white? This is the scarf that you identified as belonging to the victim. But it certainly doesn't look white to me! That's racist, Mia! Oh! <laughs> well, it was foggy that day, and it was raining as well. It's not surprising that she mistook it for white. Sorry, but not this time. The witness just confirmed that this was the victim's scarf. Yes, but what's the significance? It's true that the scarf doesn't look white, but... There's only one explanation for this mix-up. The reason why the witness thought the scarf was white is... Oh, because of the note! Is gonna be because of the note? It is because of the note. Yeah! My turn is <laughs> Here is the definitive piece of evidence that proves it. That that's your definitive piece of evidence? Yes, if my thinking is correct. Well then, we have one mystery solved. The answer is simple. Miss Face thinking is wrong. That's all there is to it. Huh? Please, kitten. You've got to do something. You're killing me over here. Miss Faye, I've got a definitive penalty to reward you for your definitive piece Whoa, of evidence. Whoa, that's a lot marked off. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> what was it what you were expecting? <laughs> yep, yeah, it's the yeah! note. Witness, have you ever seen this note? N no, I, uh, no, never. <laughs> it's top secret evidence. There's no reason that you would have. I I'm just getting tired of the warrior That's voice. <laughs> Flip. Hmm, I wonder about that. What do you mean? This note shows Mr. Fall's instructions to the victim regarding their meeting. It says, wear white scarf for identification. White scarf? Ah! Witness, you knew what this note said. There's no other possible reason for you to mistake the scarf's color. <sighs> well, Miss Foster? No! <laughs> order, order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, I'm waiting for an explanation. I'm quite sure this note wasn't leaked to the public. And yet, this witness knew exactly what the note said. At the same time of the murder, the number of people that knew were quite limited. Terry Falls is one. The person who wrote the note, Valerie Hawthorne, is another. And finally, one more person. Did you say one more person? That's right. A person that no one would have suspected. Have you figured it out, Kitten? Yeah! Yup! <laughs> the third person that knew the contents of the note was... Do, do, Obvious. Do, 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 do. Hang on just a sec. Yeah, okay, good. Well, actually, it was gumshoe. No. <laughs> Hang on there, kitten. What is it, Mr. Armando? He, he put the gumshoe brought the note there. Here, I made some special cafe con leche for you. I put in plenty of sugar. Drink it up before it gets cold. Don't be shy. Um, why are you doing this? Your brain needs stimulation. Drink some of this and then think it over again. Listen, keep messing up like that and you're going to get the judge mad. Miss Faye, don't just stand there casually drinking coffee. I want a, I want an animation of Mia actually drinking coffee. Like the, but that's none of my business. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Kermit with the tea, but Mia with coffee. That is a giant cup of coffee then. Holy yeah. Because Kermit's drinking from a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I think it's too late. Uh, but your honor, there is one more person. There is a person besides Mr. Falls and the victim and the person I just mentioned. <laughs> Uh, did I save it to stay four or five? We'll find out. Five, okay. Take that. And that person is Dahlia Hawthorne. Dahlia Hawthorne? I've never heard that name before. 
Look at the victim's note. This is what it says. Talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time. There's her name. Right there. Well, what's this? So who is this person? This Dahlia Hawthorne? <sighs> Miss Faye must be desperate if she's trying to bring the dead back to life. <laughs> the de dead Dahlia Hawthorne was the victim's deceased younger sister. She was killed in a crime five years ago. Killed in a crime? You don't mean! Yes, she was kidnapped and killed by Terry Falls. I have a feeling that we're not going to be allowed to win this case, even if we prove everything. You said she was killed, but sh was she really? Yeah, because we know Edgeworth's never lost a case before... That and also, uh, Dolly is able to get away with literal murder the next time, so... Yeah. What are you implying? Of course, people thought that she had died five years ago, when she fell off Dusky Briz Bridge and was lost in the Eagle River. However, her corpse was never found! She was declared legally dead five years ago. As far as the law is concerned, Dahlia Hawthorne is officially dead. But the fact remains that her body was never recovered. Dahlia Hawthorne was 14 years old five years ago. If she were still alive, she would be 19 now. Melissa Foster. I believe that's the same age you are. <gasps> Even you couldn't. Miss Fay, you're not sane. But I am. That is precisely what I'm saying. This witness before us is the girl that was kidnapped and killed five years ago. This girl is in fact Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Wha- WHAT?! Ha! Nice work. That was like tossing a grenade into a fi free alarm fire. But unless you can tie all the loose ends together, you're nothing but a hit and run arsonist. I- I understand. If I can expose her true nature, I can turn this whole case on its head. Now's my chance to make Mr. Edgeworth squirm. <laughs> Witness, just who are you anyway? I... I... I'm... I didn't think it had come to this. That's enough. You don't have to say any more, Witness. Uh, what? Yes, I understand. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, explain yourself. Your Honor, I have an admission to make. I honestly never thought the defense would pursue this matter this far. You don't... You don't mean... I tampered with evidence. <laughs> yes, the prosecutor's office isn't filled with fools, you know. Naturally, we conduct full background checks on all of our witnesses. What did he say? Ha! <laughs> Looks like that kid knew. He knew her true identity from the get-go. No way! But then why?! If you hadn't revealed her secret, he wasn't going to say anything about it. All he wanted was her testimony, so he made a little trade. Let me introduce you to... the victim's younger sister, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. But, but, but... I thought she died five years ago! We thought so as well, but... well, as you can see... Why? Why did she hide her identity for five years? That has nothing to do with the current case. She was merely an accidental witness to a crime. Accidental? I don't believe that for a minute! For the last five years, she's been playing the role of the victim. And now we have her acting suspiciously and at another murder scene. Really, Miss Faye? Your strategy is clearly obvious. You're trying to pin your client's crime on another innocent witness in order to win. Because it all adds up. At any cost. Well, it's not any cost, because we have the name there, we have her related, we have the guy who kidnapped her. <laughs> they used to be friends, friends now they're not. related. <laughs> oh, we were singing two different songs yep, there. Yeah, we were singing different songs. How dare you? Please, let us take a moment to think. Five years ago, this girl was kidnapped and nearly killed. Hmm. But even worse than that, five years later... Dahlia Hawthorne lost something much more precious, her big sister. Oh, the sob story! Oh! Miss Faye must be insane to even suggest that she murdered her. That's not- WHAT?! That's not even- Okay, if anything, they're siblings, which makes it MORE likely that she could have murdered her. 
because they're siblings and because they have ties. She doesn't have tons of ties with other people, as she literally said, because she's shy. But if you have ties with this dude who you clearly dated, tried to split the money, and then you've got your sister. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree with the prosecutor's logic. Well, you agree Miss with Faye, anyone. do you have any evidence to back up your assertion? What possible reason would this witness have for killing her beloved sister? Well, you see, I thought I was winning, but somehow he's turned it around on me. Ha. Huh. We have all the proof in the world. You just need to do it, Mia. I think you need a little push in the right direction, kitten. The defense this is prepared to present evidence supporting our claim. Wait, what are you going to do? What is he going to do? Ah, uh, th that wasn't me, it was this guy. Th this crazy coffee addict. What? I think we've heard enough empty threats from you, old man. Ha! <laughs> what makes you think they're empty, boy? Because your protege looks like she's sweating bullets. Uh, I am sweating bullets. You think you're in a tough spot, huh? Of course, aren't I? No. You've just arrived at the moment of truth, that's all. Wherever you win or lose, that's up to you. Up to me. <sighs> the rashness of youth. How charming. You're 20! It's coming from someone younger than me. <laughs> now then, let's not waste any more time, Miss Faye. What motive would this witness have for murdering her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne? The well, diamond. The diamond, eh? Well, I think we're gonna have to find out. Ne Wait, I can't save and quit this is no! <laughs> Why because, can't because I the save? Game, because the game wants us to keep going. We're at the 47 minute mark. Pick our evidence. <laughs> you know what? Let's just keep going and split it later. All right. <laughs> What is this? Is this the defense's idea of a joke? If so, I certainly don't get the punchline. Well, Miss Faye? Oh, that was... The rashness of youth! The, the rashness of youth? And what is your point in fervoring such a stereotype? Okay, well, that would have been what I would have said. Here's the thing, you need to actually explain your evidence, Mia. Don't just be like, what's ya? <laughs> Shazam! No homework tonight! tonight. <laughs> that witness stayed hidden for five years, kitten. There must be a good reason for that. And somehow, it must involve Valerie Hawthorne. Okay, one more time, Mia. You've gotta read the court record more carefully this time. Okay, well... What motive would she have? The whole truth needs to come out about something. That's true. So, I'm guessing what happened was... Somehow, her sister discovered her sister is alive. And was like, what? She survived? Why hasn't she talked to me for five years? I'm, okay, we need to meet up right now. No one picked up the phone. <laughs> I called, I called yeah. so much. No, it could be, it could very well be that. Again. You want to try that? Sure. The story starts after Terry Falls escaped. He called Valerie and told her he wanted to meet. This is the note she left. It says, talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time the whole truth must come out. Valerie Hawthorne gave Dahlia a warning. She told her she was going to reveal to the world the whole truth. The whole truth? There was a dangerously important secret between Valerie and Dahlia. That's the reason Dahlia felt she had to kill Valerie. To keep her mouth shut permanently! Oh, now we present the diamond. Okay. A terrific story, Miss Faye. If you like fiction, that is. Enlighten the court, Miss Faye. What was this secret that was so important? I will! Where's your evidence? Dahlia and Valerie Hawthorne and Terry Falls. There's only one important secret that connects them all. It's a triangle, and it's shaped like two triangles! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, I know this secret. Good thing we talked to him over in a recess. Yeah. Your Honor, the defense would like to request further testimony. What, what testimony? Regarding the kidnapping five years ago, we believe it will explain a lot of things. Such as the nature of the important secret between the Hawthorne sisters. You think she's gonna just talk about that? She's in court, she has to. Ugh! <laughs> I don't, like... Very, very well. well. I'll grant your request really? for further testimony. Wow. I know it will be painful for you, but please enlighten us once more, my little maple leaf. Yes, I'll 
I'll try, Mr. Judge. Putting on the old charm once more, Dahlia. But this will be the last time you hide behind your womanly why wiles. Wiles. Wiley was... Coyote. Super genius. Wow. <laughs> what? It was funny. I forgot about that. Five years ago. Five years ago, I was kidnapped by Mr. Falls. The ransom price was a raw diamond. Well, I guess she told that. My sister Valerie brought it to the bridge. After she made the exchange, she shot Mr. Falls in the arm. Wait, what? That's when Mr. Falls tried to kill me by shoving me off the bridge from behind. Why would she? Here's your diamond. Bam! What? Okay. I survived, but I was afraid I might be kidnapped again for my family's money. So I decided to change my identity and start a new life. Witness protection program! <laughs> hmm. The kidnapping left her emotionally scarred. I mean, yeah. With her sister's help, she left the Hawthorne family and started all over again. And were to believe after all that she murdered her sister? Preposterous. I don't think her sister helped her restart. I think she restarted herself. With Rossetti's help. <laughs> No, Rossetti no. wouldn't be completely opposed to that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Rossetti's constantly being like, Get rid of the witness protection program! No, we're setting! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Miss Fay. Yes, Your Honor. As you've heard, the witness is still traumatized from the kidnapping. I'll ask you again to be extremely gentle in your cross-examination. Mr. Edgeworth got the jump on me again. Ha. <sighs> If we're not allowed to fight, then let's twist some arms. Break some arms, you mean? Listen up. We've still got that info. That ace up our sleeve. What info? Come on, kitten. Don't say you've forgotten already. The fact that the kidnapping five years ago was staged. Yeah, we know that. That's right. It was a fake kidnapping. Terry Falls told us that in the lobby. I do anything she says. Anything Dahlia says. What you're saying is that the kidnapping five years ago was planned by- Yeah, me and Dahlia. And Valerie too. Yes! That's it! The fake kidnapping is your best shot, Mia! That's her secret. Five, five years ago! ago. Well, let's just keep going, I guess. Five years ago, Let's make the second like hour episode split it into by two. Mr. Falls. Where, oh, where are you now? Was I <laughs> Owen now? Wilson wants to know more. <laughs> <laughs> Did you and Mr. Falls have a relationship? Yes, as a tutor. As a tutor? You were tutoring him, Mr. Falls? No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Mr. Falls came to the house to tutor me. That makes sense. Five years ago, she was only 14. That doesn't make any sense. No, I don't think that that would happen. <laughs> that wouldn't happen anyway. Oh, he's my tutor and we run off together. Now this is like anime. Well, I don't know. She's not confessing to any romantic relationship right oh, now. Oh, no. Oh, no. But if, she... <laughs> no, but if that was true and they were romantic plus tutoring, it would absolutely be like Although, anime. honestly, if Dahlia wanted to make him look bad, she totally would should have said that. Been like, yeah, he manipulated me into having a relationship with him or something like that. Yeah, he, she totally should have. Although that would have brought up too many things. Yeah, I'm sure. If she did that. Five years ago, she was only 14. He probably came up with the kidnapping plan during that time. The Hawthorns are in the jewelry trade and are quite wealthy, you see. Okay. You've got a friend in the dime, dime business, business Hawthorn Jewelers. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> quite the catchy <laughs> for uh, like, Dude, Quite the catchy theme song, that <laughs> Mr. Falls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Did I hear him right? Did he just call Mr. Falls a catchy theme song? <laughs> <laughs> the judge is kind of, there's he's our, gone there, a little there's little our title. in case you had there's it There's our on. title. Did he really just call Mr. Falls a catchy, or Mr. Falls is a catchy theme song? <laughs> the ransom price was a raw diamond. Uh-huh. Not a well done diamond raw. I hear the diamond is valued in the neighborhood of two million dollars. Two million dollars! And how would you know that? It was still uncut, so it was about the size of a pint of milk. <laughs> a pint, pint of milk? That's still... That's, that's like... That's a lot! A two million dollar pint of milk. I don't know what to think about that. Oh, the ju the diamond's smaller than I thought. Okay. No, the, the pint? A pint? That was no, wait, a, that's, that's a quart. A quart. That's a quart. A, a pint? pint? It's like the little tiny carton you get. Okay, but a pint is still like more oh, it's, milk it's than a lot I would of drink diamond. in a month. 
Well, that's more milk than I would drink in like a year. <laughs> that's more milk than I would consume in a month. Okay, you eat a lot of baked goods. <laughs> I eat a lot of baked goods, but like per baked good, there's not much. Wait, milk do you in put it. milk in smoothies, or does that ruin the consistency? No. I don't put any milk in smoothies. It's too sweet. It's gross. Smoothies are supposed to be sweet. Yeah, but they're not. It's too sweet. Okay. So I'll use just water. It's like, <laughs> helpful tip. Do you want a good smoothie recipe? Put two smoothie. cups of water in. Put a frozen banana in. No. Put a handful of strawberries in. Like, two handfuls, actually. Frozen strawberries. Put in a handful of mixed berries. So that's like raspberries and blackberries and blueberries. And gooseberries. Put in, like... Two fistfuls of spinach and blend the whole thing up. It's great. It actually does taste great. You heard it here first. The that, defendant demanded that was Marty's that, smoothie recipe, kids. Tell the, your friends. The okay. defendant demanded that her sister Valerie make the exchange. Not as a detective, of course, but as an individual. By the way, I want to ask you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why do you think he wanted to make the exchange up there on the mountain? If he had ever gotten surrounded, it would be hard to escape. There's one thing a kidnapper wants to prevent, and that's police involvement. In a place like that, it would be easy to tell if he was being followed. But it's the woods. With only one entrance to the mountain, he was ensuring his safety. It's like when Princess Leia goes on the planet and there's the Ewok children that, like, take her down. The Ewoks? Yeah. People, people hate the, um, the Ewoks a whole lot, but no, they were not, cool. They're not bad. Whoever played, like, the main Ewok as a child, they probably were like, Wicked. That was me! I was wicked in that costume. I was with Carrie I, Fisher. I, I do think that it would be better if it was a bunch of Wookiees instead of Ewoks, though. It would have been very cute. But I like Ewoks. They're not bad. I like Ewoks, too. I don't like Ewoks in a Battlefront 2. Oh, <laughs> they're so cheap. They're so cheap. What a wickedly clever man that Mr. Falls is. Yeah, right. It was all your plan. Anyway, Valerie brought the diamond to the mountain and... I'm sweating I'm under my sweating eyes. Profusely. That was a dangerous thing to do considering you were being held hostage. Yes, but actually that saved my life. What do you mean? You see, Mr. Falls was holding a knife in his right hand. Somehow I just knew he was going to use it. I knew he was going to use that knife to kill me. That's when my sister shot him. It was to save me. Hmm. I mean, that is a tough situation to be in. Yeah. Someone's threatening to kill somebody. But here's the thing. Obviously, that didn't happen. Oh, yeah, I know. If, yeah. If anything, he was like, here's my knife. We can rough it in the woods, kid. <laughs> I can cut anything. <laughs> okay. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. Shoved you off from behind. I can cut wood. I'd like to hear more about what happened right at that moment. Well, when Mr. Falls was shot in the right arm, he let go of me. I was dazed. I turned to try and run away, but Mr. Falls tried to grab me as well. As I ran past he and I locked eyes for a second, and he gave me a large bloodthirsty grin. B bloodthirsty grin. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and in the next instant, I advised the court to remember that the river is 18 feet deep and incredibly swift. I was a strong swimmer, but I was knocked out. When I came to, I had been carried away by the river to a strange place. What, did you go to, like, the Wizard of Oz? Zabu Land! <laughs> did you, that's how you go to Zabu Land, kids. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, that show was great. I'll never forget that day. The crumbling bridge, nowhere to run. Uh-oh, we're out of lemur treats. I guess Zabu doesn't get to talk today. <laughs> and just one little shove from behind, that was it. Remember, we're here to talk about Zaboom food to, to kind of give you some lighthearted banter with this serious oh, yeah. moments. Before my sister could catch me, I fell into the river. She was far away! She was like, boom, boom! Like, she's not gonna be able to catch you in her loving arms. Don't. This isn't like, um, oh no, wait, you haven't seen that show either. If it's an anime, I haven't. Yeah, I thought it was Avatar for two seconds, but no. And that's why you hid your identity. Yes. I only told my sister. Valerie Hawthorne, eh? Yes, she's the only one who knew about me. Meanwhile, legally, this witness had been deceased for five years. I didn't ever want something like that to happen to me again. But yet she did! But yet she did. So I then decided you did. to change my identity and start a new life. And that new identity was Melissa Foster, right? Melissa Foster, yep. 
Yes, my sister helped me get the official paperwork taken care of. That makes sense. Without an insider's help, doing all the paperwork would have been impossible. She was the only person left in the world I could count on. And you... you think I killed her? There's no way I could! <laughs> it's the moment of truth for this witness, too. Once the truth about this staged kidnapping comes out, everyone in the court will know how much of a Jezebel she really is. <laughs> nice biblical reference. <laughs> Remind me what Jezebel did. Was she the one in the tower who was like, I'm so beautiful? Jezebel and then, and then got was the eaten woman. By dogs. So Jezebel was the woman who was responsible for introducing a certain wave of Baal worship into the Israel area. Okay. Baal was a horrible false god who sure. demanded very gruesome infant sacrifices. Okay. And, um, who yeah. was the one that I was thinking of? Was that her? Oh, yeah, and then later she fell out of a tower. And I got eaten alive. Oh, uh, got crushed by a grindstone, I think, then eaten by dogs. <laughs> I mean, that's a fitting end. Yeah, I think, <laughs> no, I think she fell out of the tower while she was brushing her hair. That makes sense. I think that's what oh, happened. I'll, I'll, <laughs> fun fact. Or, actually, no, I, I can't share that because I don't know if it's true or not. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Tell I don't want to. I don't want to spread false information. Sure. Tell me after. I've just got to prove that the kidnapping was a hoax. Oh, it was. All right. Kidnapping Mr. Falls. Yep. Uh, Ransom brought to the bridge. Was she shot? shot yep, that's so totally true. Tried to shove me off by uh, shoving me off the bridge from behind. That might be it. But what's next? Survived. You might be kidnapped that, that's again. That's legit. I decided to change my identity and start a new life. That's fine. So go back. So you think it's this I one? I think it's that one. Makes sense. And the obvious that we're going to show that it was false. Wait, how do we do that? We, that can't was just... we can't right now. Wait, I was about to say, that was him like, well, this is what I remember. Like I when... remember back in my day. Oh, great. I'm only 25. <laughs> well. Well, that's pretty tough, ain't it? Maybe. Ain't that um, a Let's take a look. In a book. It's reading rainbow. I it got two million bucks. That's still a gigantic red diamond. It looks like a ruby. Let's be honest. Okay, back. Um, Melissa Foster took the witness. Yeah, photo. so the diamond would be about the size of this diamond. That's well, a big diamond. Oh yeah, actually wait. It'd be bigger. It's bi bigger than that, but again, that's raw, like a cup of milk. Raw, uncut. So there's still worthless rock around it that they had to be carved out. No, it's like that Whisper of the Heart thing. Oh, yeah. then when you polish your gems, then... I, I can't remember the rest of the quote. Do you remember? <laughs> when you polish your gems, Whisper of the Heart. No, no, it's... <laughs> I know what you're saying, yeah. It's that thing. Watch that movie, it's great. Geodes. Geodes, that's what it was. Some people try polishing the outside, not even realize that, that there's better crystals inside the rock than the ones that you can see on the outside. That's a great movie, but also if you don't like slice of life stories, you're gonna oh, hate it's it. It's long. It is long. Our it mom, also just our ends. mom loves that. Movie. It just ends. It does. It literally is like woohoo, and then like it starts <laughs> the credits. <laughs> um, it can't be the victim's note again. There's no way. <laughs> It could be. There's at, at least, least one case. There's at least one case where there's one piece of evidence. I swear you present like eight times. <sighs> okay. Let's take a look at the photos. Dusky bridge map. Ho ho do, ho. Do, do, do. So Valerie was right there, closer From to behind. the left side, and then they were on that part, kind of like where Va Valerie was this time. So let's assume there's no wind because that makes physics challenging. If she falls off right assume there... Assume no air resistance. Yeah, assume no air resistance. This sounds like my math, oh my gosh. If she fell off right there, she would be heading for rock. Yeah? Probably not. That's, That's not... not... Yeah. Man, you were smart. You're picking up on this stuff really quick. But that, I... I don't know. Sometimes I pick up things quickly, and sometimes I'm like, well, gun, not hard. Shoot off <laughs> she gun. shot a gun. <laughs> to shoot off her gun, because she has two guns. <laughs> yeah. You say that Mr. Falls pushed you into the Eagle River. However, that's hard to believe. But it's true! I felt a push on my back. I'm certain of it. It was Mr. Falls. Miss Hare says different. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't clear enough. I should have said, that's hard to believe. I should have said, that's impossible. This music again! Impossible? 
I s ask that the court recall the condition of Dusky Bridge now and five years ago. That bridge hasn't changed one bit in these last five years. Really bad health code. We should get that updated, by the way. If someone had pushed you from behind as you have claimed, instead of being carried away by the river, you would have been smashed by the bedrock below. A most certain death. Do you understand now, Dahlia Hawthorne? That very motive that my client pushed you from behind is impossible. Your Honor, this event occurred five years ago. Why, for all we know, the water level in the river may have been higher back then. But it's 40 feet from the bridge to the river. A small change in the water level wouldn't have made a difference. Ah! Very true. Y you're right! If the events occurred just as the witnesses testified, then the defendant couldn't have pushed the witness into the river. Young lady, what is the meaning of this? I... 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 Uh, you see, I... Just a moment, Your Honor. It's true that the witness testified that the defendant pushed her into the river. However, she never stated that she fell from the back end of the bridge. What? What do you mean? After being shot in the arm, it's plausible that Mr. Falls panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly pushed her off the side of the bridge. If that's true, she would have fallen into the river. Well, Miss Hawthorne, is Mr. Edgeworth's explanation correct? What are you supposed to say? No. No. Now that you mention it, I do remember now when I fell off the bridge. My skirt got caught in one of the bridge's side wires. What is this? You can't be serious! Edgeworth's like, did this convenient excuse happen? Yes! Uh, um, yes! <laughs> I do like when Edgeworth breaks down, though, and he's bent, banging his fist on the table. <laughs> well, Your Honor, I really want to say something. Order, order in the court! Uh -huh. It seems Miss Faye's assault has finally reached its conclusion. Attention. Not now, Mia. This is no time to retreat. Unfortunately for you, this is just the start of Mrs. Mrs. Miss Faye's assault! W what? I believe your reasoning went something like this, Mr. Edgeworth. After being shot in the arm, it's plausible that Mr. Falls panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly unwitt pushed her off the side of the bridge. However, once again, I'm forced to say that's impossible. R ridiculous What's so impossible about it? Because your flawed logic contradicts the court record. Ooh, yeah, we just get this nice still image of Edgeworth like, this yes. is the worst. <laughs> yep. Soak it in. He got a black Gonna eye. Soak up the well, sun. it might be the, um, it might be the plans again. Let's take a look. Actually, wait, no, other photo. This one? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. not that one. <laughs> not the car. Why did they swap the two? I don't the car know. photo used to be that far. Um, if she were- he would literally have to pick her up and be like, Ugh! <laughs> In order to throw her. That's true. So, yeah. It's that one. The camera! This evidence shows the fatal error you made. It's a fatal error, all right. Unfortunately, the error is yours, not mine. Uh-oh, here it comes. Miss Faye, at this point in the trial, I can't just let that pass. That's less of a penalty than I've gotten in the past. Ouchie. Come on, Mia. Take your time and think it over again. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's obvious. It's this photo. Witness's photo. Thankfully, we didn't present the wrong photo. Your Honor, all of the answers are right here in this photo. Take a look at the wires supporting both sides of the bridge. They extend up to about five feet above the ground. It would have been impossible to push someone off from there. No! <laughs> but, but let's remember the size and strength of the defendant. Wires like this wouldn't be a problem for him. He could have easily picked up a 14-year-old girl and thrown her over. So young and already so forgetful, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, Mia, bring that sass. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Falls had been shot in the right arm. Ah! And more importantly, Valerie Hawthorne had a gun, her gun trained on him. Trained on him? Really? Mm -hmm. That's a thing? Okay. At point-blank range. Ah! So, Mr. Falls throwing the witness off the bridge? That is clearly impossible! 
But he's still very composed whenever that happens. <laughs> order, order! What, what is the meaning of this? Dahlia Hawthorne, you jumped into the Eagle River intentionally. What? What is this? Why did I roar like a tiger there? Roar! <laughs> Indeed, what do you mean by such a ridiculous remark? Yes, it's ridiculous! My sister was there to help me! She had her gun and handcuffs, she could have saved me. Jumping into a raging river like that, that would have been suicide! Perhaps, but still, that's exactly what you did. You were probably confident that you could handle the swift current. But even more so, the witness had a much more compelling reason for jumping into the river. Oh, then what was it? What was so important that she'd want to jump into the river? The witness is still alive. That fact alone explains everything. This is why she risked her life by jumping into the rapids of the Eagle River. Well, I mean, she probably... wanted that scarf. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't even worth a reply. Miss Fay, I hold you personally responsible for confusing the court and causing great emotional pain to the witness. I have no choice but to impose a penalty on you. Oh, that's a, that's a bad one. That's a, that's a third of our bar. This is an easy one, Mia. What was she after? <laughs> Even Mr. Edgeworth must have realized it. And he's an idiot. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Five years ago, something else disappeared along with Dahlia that day. The item that Valerie brought up the mountain with her. The two million dollar diamond. Ah! No, it can't be. Yes, Dahlia had it all planned from the beginning. Maybe we actually do win this case, and Edgeworth's just like, This is not going on my record. <laughs> Absolutely not. I will wipe this from existence. <laughs> the two million dollars, she was going to keep it all for herself. She forced Mr. Falls to help her fake the kidnapping. At the last minute, she betrayed him and threw herself into the river. With the ransom tucked away safely in her backpack. There you go. Boy, that's... that's simply ridiculous! I mean, the fact that she turned away is absolutely true. Order! 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 Y Your Honor, five years ago, the witness was only 14 years old. Do you really think a 14-year-old is capable of such a demonic plan? Yes! Absolutely. This woman is a demon. And there was one more person who helped her make a demon out of her. Gee, that, that pose of hers is really creepy. It's like that lady from a haunted mansion who's standing above the alligator pit if she turned away. Yeah. Basically. <sighs> that gives me the chills a little bit, that image. Her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. You, you mean the victim was involved in the kidnapping plot as well? But she was a detective then. You're saying she participated in her sister's kidnapping? Precisely. I'm sure that it weighed heavily on her conscience for the past five years. This is the sole reason behind the victim's murder now. What do you mean by that? On the day of the murder, after receiving the phone call from Mr. Falls, Valerie called her sister Dahlia. And then she told her what she was planning to do. Planning to do? She was going to tell the whole truth. As she wrote in her note. That is what sealed Valerie Hawthorne's fate. Fate. That is when you hatched your demonic plan to kill two birds with one stone. A plan that would ensure neither of your accomplices to the kidnapping would talk. And that is why you killed your sister Valerie Hawthorne. Who is that, laughing at a time like this? Forgive me, it's just hilarious. W witness Is that you? You amuse me, woman. Miss Mia Faye! I thought she was gonna talk to the judge, like, you can change voices like eight <laughs> times during this trial. <laughs> you can certainly weave an exciting tale. Naturally, you have the evidence to back it up, don't you? Evidence? Evidence that I planned the kidnapping, of course. That at 14, I plotted with Mr. Falls and my sister. Well, I... And one more thing. 
What happened to the two million dollar diamond? You spent it. You spent it on sundresses and umbrellas. She probably, if she went abroad, <laughs> that's probably what she did. Oh yeah, and you lived in France. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't provide evidence to at least show that. Hmm. Well, Miss Faye? I... I don't know. What a joke. You, Miss Faye. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> she, I don't know if she's stupid. <laughs> How can I prove a fake kidnapping that happened five years ago? We'll have to find out next time. <laughs> <laughs> How on, can you? On Phoenix Think about Wright. that. <laughs> Trials and Tribulations. This is... This has been a long series of two episodes, mm -hmm. so I think it's time to stop. Tune in next time. I think we can finish the case next time. Sweet. So, let's look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless. Uh, prepare before the next episode. You're going to want to be ready for it. I swear, if she commits suicide right in front of the court, it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs>